Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is probably going to be my last sneaker unboxing video for 2020 because it is already the 29th of December and I don't anticipate on buying any new sneakers in the next two days. So I guess this will be my last sneaker unboxing. So I have two sneakers to show you guys. I was hoping to get my ambush dunks before the end of the year, but I still haven't received them. Um, but yeah, when I do get them, I will definitely do like a review and a styling kind of video. But yeah, I was really excited for them because based on the photos, I was actually gonna like include them in my top 5 sneakers of 2020, which I have not filmed. <laughs> Am I too late to do a top 5 sneakers of 2020? Let me know if you guys still want to see that because I feel like there's two more days and then it's the end of 2020. Like. Can I still upload it like in January? Is that still a thing? I have no idea. I've actually never done like a sneaker roundup of the year, which I feel like I should. But anyway, I'm getting off topic. <laughs> the other thing that I want to unbox today is actually a parcel from Farfetch and I have no idea what is in here because they sent it to me for Christmas. So it's sort of like a little Christmas gift from them, which I think is really, really nice. And I was actually planning on unboxing it like with you guys to show you and then I I didn't. I don't know what happened then. And then now it's after Christmas. So I'm just gonna pretend that this is a birthday parcel from Farfetch. So I'm really excited to see what's in there. But before we get into that, let's just start off with the first pair of sneakers. So you guys can see that it is a pair of Nike SB Dunks and it is the Habibi Dunks. And I actually won the raffle at Lo-Fi, so I actually caught these for retail, which I'm super happy about. You guys know that I haven't had much luck with any Nike SB raffles this year. The only other raffle I won would be the Tadunkins, which is also from Lo-Fi. So Lo-Fi, thank you. <laughs> I really love you. Um, but yeah, so that's the only two pairs of Nike SBs that I got for retail. Every other pair, actually no, the Sean Clivers, I got them in store. But other than that, every other pair I've paid resale for and they've been so expensive, which really sucks. But um, yeah, so yeah, anyway, I'm so glad that I got these for retail. The retail price is 150 Australian dollars and I got these in a mint US 7. And these are the Habibi Dunks. So this is in collaboration with Frame, which is a skate store in Dubai and it is founded by Peter An. And I've never been to Dubai before, but it's definitely one of the places that I want to visit eventually. So hopefully I get the opportunity next year or like sometime in the future. Um, but for now, let's talk about these sneakers. So the colorway is red, white, black and green and this is meant to reflect the national colors of the UAE. And based on what I read, Frame is a skate store but more so like a concept store because I think there's a boutique, a ramen shop as well as a cafe. I'm not too sure because obviously I've never been to Dubai and I've never been to Frame. But uh, based on that concept, it actually sounds pretty cool and I would love to visit the store one day. And also when they released this sneaker, they also came out with an online game. And I think you have to like complete the game in order to enter the raffle. I'm pretty sure that online game is still live on the Frame website because I checked it out a few weeks ago. Um, and yeah, it's quite a cute game. I think it's called The Heart of the City and it is a skate game and you pretty much have to like jump over obstacles and collect coins and stuff and yeah, I think you're skating through the skate store and maybe Dubai, I have no idea. But I thought it was a really cute concept that they came up with that online game um, to coincide with the release of the sneakers. I think that's a really interesting take. But yeah, overall, I think the sneakers are really nice. I really love the color combination. It is definitely one of the more wearable colorways that we've seen with Nike SB collabs because there's been a few crazy ones this year like the Chunky Dunkies or the Grateful Deads, for example. I think those are great, but um, very colorful and like not 
super easy to style with. So yeah, I think these are such a nice pair. I really love the colorway. I also really like this light gum outsole. I think it's meant to represent sand. And then when you look at the upper of the sneaker, you can also see it has this ripstop material here. And you'll also notice there's a little bit of layering with the double swoosh as well as the double tongue. And that definitely reminds me of like the Sakai sneakers. I don't know whether there's any like, what is the word I'm looking for? Like, is it whether it's related in any way? Like whether Peter Ahn was inspired by that or not? I read an article and I don't think he was. Um, but that definitely reminds me of the Sakai's and also with the double tongue the white tongue on the top is actually just a very thin regular tongue and it is actually removable so if you unlace it because here you can see it's being held together um, by this little slit here with the laces you can actually remove this outer would you call this outer tongue? Anyway, you can actually remove this tongue if you don't want that layered look. I've also noticed that the tongue of this sneaker is a little bit less padded compared to my other Nike SBs. I think because they did create it to be layered and that is why it is less padded, if that makes any sense. Um, but yeah, it still feels really good on feet. In terms of sizing for Nike SB, I would definitely recommend going half a size up for these because the sneakers tend to be a little bit more padded. And that is the size advice that all of my friends recommend as well, is to go half a size up. I do have a few pairs in my true to size and they fit fine as well, just a little bit snug. But to be on the safe side, probably go half a size up. But anyway, back to the details on the sneaker you can see that with the double tongue on the white one it does have this falcon graphic or logo and then on the black tongue it has this like pearl oyster kind of graphic which i think looks really nice i really love the layering of the tongue and i love how it's removable as well and then moving on you can see that it has the double swoosh as well so it's in different textures the black one is in this like black leather and the green one is i don't know <laughs> what to call this texture but it's kind of like a striped sort of texture i don't know the exact name for the material but i think it's really nice and then underneath there you can see it's on this white ripstop material moving on to the toe box area you can see it has some nice tumbled leather i really like the tone of red that they've used on this sneaker i think it is such a nice vibrant red and also in terms of the laces they do give you three other sets of spare laces so there is a black and white pair as well as this hound's tooth kind of vibe the sneakers come laced in this red patterned laces and i think it's meant to be inspired by the shimag headdress i don't think i'm pronouncing that correctly guys but hopefully you know what i mean um but the pattern seems to appear more so like a hound's tooth kind of pattern but i think it is inspired by the shimag headdress um but yeah feel free to correct me if i'm saying that weird or if i got the facts wrong we are all learning here okay so yeah i know sometimes i say certain things wrong and then some of you guys get very angry in the comments um but yeah feel free to correct me if i've said anything wrong so moving on to the insoles of the sneaker you guys can see that it has the nike sb and frame branding and the pattern is meant to represent the memorial fountain which is a long time skate hub in dubai and this is just based on what I'm reading <laughs> online. They had a really good article on Complex, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, if you guys want to learn a little bit more about the sneakers, you can definitely look that up. I'll remember to link it down below. Um, and yeah, on the inside of the sneaker here as well, on the tongue, you can see that it says Habibi. And Habibi translates to my love. Like I mentioned before, this is definitely one of the more wearable nike sb colorways and i absolutely love them and i've been loving all the nike collabs that have come out this year i feel like each pair has a really cool story behind them and i think they're each unique in their own way and i'm just super happy that i managed to cop a pair for retail and yeah i would highly recommend them if you've been thinking about them uh, and I think that is all <laughs> I wanted to tell you guys about the Habibi Dunks. I've only worn these once and I've already posted a photo on Instagram. And yeah, I feel like it is such a vibe. It does have a very Christmassy sort of colorway because of the red and green. But yeah, I think it is such a great sneaker. 
and definitely one of my favorite cups this year. So before we unbox the next pair of sneakers, I thought I'll take a bit of a gummy bear break. Like look at these, these are probably one of my favorite gummy bears and they are the Haribo ones. It is the sweet and sour bears and they're like these two little gummy bears and they're holding hands, that is so cute. But yeah, it tastes really, really great as well. This is my favorite color as well. I think the flavor is currant and blueberry. I'm gonna have one more and then we can proceed with our sneaker unboxing. I feel like now I'm fueled with gummy bear energy. <laughs> so let's move on to the next pair of sneakers. You guys can already guess what is in here based on the box because look, look at this gradient rainbow color. And then on the side here, there is the Nike logo in pink. And this is of course the J Belvin Air Jordan 1s. Even the paper on the inside is different. I think it's really, really cute. And this is my receipt <laughs> that you guys don't have to see. I actually purchased this from a subscriber or like someone that follows me on Instagram as well. So Andy, if you're watching this, thank you so much. So I got these in a men's 6.5. And this is definitely one of the wildest Air Jordan ones that I have in my collection or yeah, definitely <laughs> one of the crazier colorways. I'm trying to get the other side up to show you guys. These are obviously unworn because I have not... Wait, the pink matches my jumper perfectly. Look at this. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, back to these sneakers. You guys can see it is in a very, very loud rainbow color and the gradient sort of starts from the center of the sneaker and it sort of fades to like this darker cobalt blue. And yeah, I mean, it is definitely something that I am trying to think of how I would style this because I don't think it's something that's like super, super wearable, but I think it's also very unique in its own way. The details on this is definitely very different from any other pair of Jordan 1s that I own. The upper of the sneaker is constructed entirely in this sort of canvas material and it is very, very vibrant. And the midsole is in this baby pink color, which is the same color as the outsole. I just really wanted to add this to my collection because it looks just very different. <laughs> um, whether it's in a good or bad way, I know a lot of people have very strong opinions about this sneaker, but I just think it is very different and, you know, just a really nice addition to my collection. I don't really know whether I will wear these or when I would wear these. They also give you a bunch of different laces. So it does come laced with these black laces, but they also have a few options for you. So there is the baby pink lace, a pair of white laces, as well as this neon green. And then another thing that's really cool is that they give you these little patches because you'll notice on the heel, there's this little Velcro detail that you can sort of uh, change so in this side here there is the Jumpman logo and then on the other side there is the J Belvin logo and I think this smiley face little logo that he has is really cute so you can obviously like switch this out so they give you like some variety and I'm pretty sure there's like a basketball hold on let me get it out of the little ziplock bag to show you guys so the interchangeable like little patches they give you is a basketball as well as this like lightning like logo. I'm, I'm trying to show you guys this way because I haven't really done any b-roll for this. So I apologize for my non-professional b-roll of this sneaker. But this is what the little patches look like. Hopefully you guys can see it. And another thing you'll notice is that on the tongue of the sneaker, it has these sort of exposed edges and you can see the foam in there or like the sponge in there. And it has the Jumpman logo. And then on the inside, it has the J Belvin like smiley face. It is sort of inverted on each side of the sneaker. So one side is the smiley face and then the other side is the Jumpman logo. Whereas if you look on the inside, it is the like the opposite version of that. Wow, guys. <laughs> this is not a very professional unboxing video. Another really interesting detail you'll notice on this sneaker is it has a lot of this serrated unfinished edges and it looks like you've literally gone in with a pair of scissors and you've cut into it. So it has sort of this very 
DIY kind of vibe and it's quite playful in my opinion and I love how they've added this black leather panel underneath the swoosh because it gives a little bit more dimension and contrast and yeah I mean the sneaker is not what I expected it to look like prior to the release I saw a lot of images and it did look very crazy but now that I have them in person I feel like it's even more like colorful <laughs> than what I imagined it to be and I didn't expect the upper to be in sort of this canvas material with all this like jagged edges and stuff but I think it is quite a vibe um, but yeah I have not thought about how I would style these but I'm definitely happy to add this to my collection because like I said it is definitely very very different from anything I have with the insoles as well you can see it is in this neon like green color and you can also see that smiley face logo or J Belvin's like logo on the inside. Definitely one of the wilder colorways to release this year in a pair of Jordan 1s. Um, but yeah, those are the J Belvin Jordan 1s. So, I feel like I've been talking for quite a while now guys. But let's move on to the very last parcel which is from Farfetch. And I've had this sitting in my apartment for like quite a few days now. And uh, yeah, we're finally opening this up. And like I mentioned before, I have no idea what is in here. And let me... How do I even like open? There's so much tape on this box. Oh my god, I feel like I'm being <laughs> very dangerous with this Stanley knife. Um, maybe it's meant to open from the side here. No. Here. Okay, here. No way. How? <laughs> <laughs> Can I not figure out how to open a box? What is wrong with me? Just give me one moment, all right? I'll figure this out. Is this one of the boxes that opens from the side? So I think with the Farfetch boxes, I think there's like a little tab that I can pull, but because there was so much tape on it, I wasn't too sure where I was meant to open it from, but now I saw like a little like pull tab thing. So I think I'm meant to open it from here. It is definitely a very secure parcel so let me just open this up so it's a little tear thing which i did not tear very well but yeah guys did you guys have a good christmas like did you have a lot of good food what did you do let me know what you got for christmas like did you get anything like very exciting uh i did not get anything so uh that's that but yeah anyway i got this box open and inside Ta-da! I have no idea what's inside. Let's have a look. Hold on. Can you guys even see what I'm seeing? Let me put this here so we can see what is in here together. Oh my god, they wrapped it! This is so cute! And there is a little card in here. Um, so yeah, there are two little gifts in here and they've wrapped it. Okay, let's open this one up. It smells really nice. I feel like this could be maybe like a candle or something okay so this one here is boy smells look at this and it is a candle i don't actually have anything from boy smells before but i've definitely seen it online <gasps> this candle is so pretty wait you can't even see okay this is what i'm looking at and the fragrance is called les l-e-s Okay, my pronunciation is very, very bad. But it has black currant, peach blossom, jasmine rice, cardamom, and white cedar. It smells really nice. I really, really love candles. And I've been wanting to buy some diptyque candles, but I just, they're kind of expensive. And I usually buy them as gifts, but I don't buy them for myself. Um, but anyway, so the next little parcel I have here. Oh my god guys, I feel so happy. Like, I'm just pretending that this is my birthday present because I don't think I'll be getting anything for my birthday. My mom did order like a birthday cake for me, which I think it's really nice. She probably saw my last video and I was saying like, I'm gonna buy a cake for myself. <laughs> um, so yeah, my mom actually ordered a cake for me. So thanks mom. Um, but the next thing I have here, it is in this Farfetch bag and... <gasps> Look at this! Okay, so this is the off-white like home slippers and 
I actually really wanted these so I bought the off-white like bathrobe and when I did that haul I was actually planning on picking up these slippers but they actually went out of stock so I never ended up buying them and I think they must have restocked because they're so thoughtful of them like thank you so much Farfetch I just punched myself <laughs> in the face with these slippers but they're so soft and cushiony like look at this, they definitely look so cozy. Let me get the other side out. I think it only maybe comes in one size, let me check. This is a small medium, okay so I guess it does come in a larger size but this will definitely fit me. And yeah, look at this, I just cannot wait to just wear this around at home. It's so cozy and you guys know that I love super super cozy things and I've been loving like home related things recently so Thank you so much Farfetch for sending these to me, I am just super grateful and yeah look I have my off-white little pillow here and I just feel like it's super cute like I've been loving the off-white home collection um, but yeah I can't wait to wear these later on today because like where am I going? <laughs> where do I ever go? Um, but yeah guys that is um, all that I wanted to share with you guys today I am just so happy right now like you know, these gifts are uh, just... I love it. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, like I mentioned before, I think this will be my last unboxing video for 2020. Unless I randomly pick up some sneakers tomorrow or the next day. Um, but I am still planning on doing my best sneakers of 2020. Would you guys still want to see that? Because I feel like I'm a little bit late to the game. But if you guys are still interested, let me know in the comments below and I can definitely film that because I have a few sneakers in mind that would be in my top 5. But then there are also a few that I'm like, but I like those two. Like I feel like they should be in the list. But the top 5 is definitely going to be like the best out of the best in my opinion. Like my favorites. But yeah, I'm going to stop talking now because my memory card is full. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys really really soon. Bye!